Would you like to boost your public speaking skills? Communicate better in your organization? Be accomplished in using various business communication methods? Supercharge your public relations? Persuade your audience successfully? I'm a former diplomat in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a television producer, radio host, lecturer, and author of six best-selling books. With my past experience in my academic and professional life, I will show you how you can boost your skills to become an expert communicator. Many people have a fear of public speaking and are overwhelmed and uncertain when faced with the prospect of doing it. People are looking for ways to optimize and improve their public speaking skills. Some struggle to communicate effectively in their organizations and create an environment that's able to be receptive to different opinions and perspectives and want to create harmony between management and employees and within the organization in general, which would help form an inclusive and welcoming environment. Businesses are also looking for ways to communicate effectively with their audiences and consumers and may struggle in identifying the right methods and successful ways to use them and promote them. Others find it difficult to connect with the public and their audiences when engaging in public relations, struggling to find the right balance in public relations when discussing their products and services, dealing with public perception and attitude towards their business or organization, cultivating the right public image and branding, or even managing crises that occur. Others find it a challenge to persuade and convince the audience wanting to get through to them in a vivid, powerful, and even moving way to spur them on into action. With my communication course, speak up in your business with power and confidence. You will be able to excel in these areas, boosting your communication skills, on the way to becoming an expert communicator. Model one will show you how to master your public speaking in as little as 24 hours. Model two will show you how you can lift your organization with successful communication. Model three will boost your business with varied communication and marketing strategies. The fourth model will supercharge your PR skills. And the fifth model will show you how to persuade and convince your audience successfully. You will be able to use your communication skills to persuade others, move them and transmit energy with assurance and certainty. You will gain access to all five models as soon as you purchase this online course and you can learn at your own pace and time with all 20 videos unlocked instantly. This is a great opportunity to boost your public speaking, business and organizational communication with confidence and skill. Become an expert. Start now. Business communication, mindset. When we set up a business, we have a clear vision. We work hard towards a goal, towards a dream. As we move closer, towards that goal, we seek proper counsel and we have to believe in ourselves and be positive that we want to succeed. We need to stay away from negative opinions.
No one is perfect, but we have to be ready for changes and transformation to be able to connect with people and collaborate, if possible, on a deeper level. Some people have changed their careers completely and become bolder and stronger as they reach out. And this is when we turn a hopeless situation or a feeling of inadequacies into an inspiring one. There has to be in place a recipe for success by taking some motivating steps to get out of an unprogressive situation. Once you succeed, you too can influence other people, build a global brand, work smart, and instead of feeling stuck, have a positive mindset and be ready to live your dreams. When you get your money, try to invest some of it wisely. When you start selling, remember you need to advertise your product or service. Have strategies in place to grow your business faster. Get involved in networking and expand it globally. You start pursuing a good goal when you choose a profitable niche or a special area of demand for a product or service that will generate a good, consistent income. Some businesses, or rather some business-minded people, are engaged in selling online courses, investing in Bitcoin, forex trading, coaching, creating and selling fitness videos, health and beauty, confidence training, and many more. It is wise to search or to research into what is making business-minded people successful then set specific targets around this. Follow the right niche which you are able to handle, the one that can ensure your success. Once you are sure about it, determine not to look back. Make your motto, forward ever, backward never. Have a business idea. But having a business idea is not enough when you have the passion for your chosen product or service and you see the need for it and promote it vigorously. Evaluate how much social media presence you have. Remember, commitment is an essential ingredient for successful endeavor. It is beneficial to join Facebook groups, if you have an idea, ask someone or ask some of the groups for their perspectives on it. You may ask for their opinions on an ebook idea which will contribute to good promotion. Invest and grow more money, save some, have financial freedom, live on the interest. Trying to borrow money to purchase a liability will land you in bad debt. Good debt is borrowing money to purchase assets. In business, you need to have a good mindset to develop, nourish the growth, flourish, and prosper. Make connections. Make positive changes to fulfill your previously abandoned desires. Hope and faith are also paramount when you are lifting and refreshing your past desires. Be determined. Be prepared to do the impossible which you have put in the cage or box over time. Do something extraordinary and your flames will burst into fire. Action is next.
and healing comes with faith. Boom and bang, there is self-renewal. In time, you get noticed. And before dawn, before the cock crows, so to say, you appear from having been overlooked and condemned to being praised and appreciated. Many successful people have faced untold challenges in life with positive and enterprising attitudes and readiness to undertake new projects. You're never too old to believe and execute your passion. As long as you are still hopeful and displaying some vigor, no one likes to waste away. Everyone is endowed with the ability to be up and coming, to be industrious. Be ready to earn a good fortune. Head for a favorable transformation. Step out into your greatness. Even if you get rejected a lot, get a vision. Open another door in your life. Communicate with people. Stop feeling being stuck. People care about what you can do with them. Another thing is you can inspire people. You can aspire to be a coach. Believe in yourself and have self-confidence. Develop a topic, know that topic, love it and learn more about it. Let it be a specific niche. You can do research about other experts in that field. Deliver a specific message. Be authentic so that you can win the trust of your audience. Listen to the needs of the people. Share your knowledge and your expertise. Put all your ideas together and organize them in five to ten steps. Then you can be ready for your coaching business. Virtual components will be with us for some time to come. It's useful for you to have it in some form. We can embrace it. You're always advised to lead a legacy and create a very good impact. Be the pilot and do not allow yourself to be driven. When you allow negative people to drive you, you get shifted from the... Um, no, you get shifted into the bottom place and you are utterly prevented to reach the success that you richly deserve. The best you can contribute in life is to untap your own potential and motivate others. Impact them to improve their lot. Aim for excellence. Invest in yourself. Learn from other entrepreneurs how to invest in your business so it can grow. Invest in assets that generate revenue. You gain financial freedom when income from your assets exceeds your monthly living expenses. You need to be open to possibilities. Go the extra mile to be an entrepreneur. If you have finished paying a bad debt, use the quick cash you have to start generating an asset. Identify new talents or passion that you have. Identify new actions that you will take. Reinvest the little or new money that comes your way in your future. Invest it in income producing assets to continue to generate income for you. You may come up with a service that is a winner. Maybe people ask you for help. Maybe they ask for your help regularly. That could become a business. You may have become an expert in business solving problems that people have, and you may become a coach to other people and get paid for it. So challenge yourself about a product or service you could offer and build a business around it. You need to create a wealthy 
mindset of abundance instead of mindset of scarcity. Try by all means to rekindle your dreams and follow it through. Do not let whatever has blocked you in the past deter you from the brilliant and fruitful future you deserve. You can raise quick cash by having a garage sale <laughs> to pay the back debt. When you have several little means of income or streams, so to say, you can improve your life. Every little win or improvement is going to give you the motivation to keep going. Keep that mental attitude that you are going to succeed. It's very important for financial freedom. Have faith. It's paramount. Identify where those problems have come from and don't let them draw you back. Never again. Remember the phrase, forward ever, backward never. Once you have started to push forward, determine not to get distracted. Always counteract those elements that appear in disguise to cause distractions. Make time for your mission so you can get the results on time without delay. Never procrastinate. Reduce unnecessary spending, irrelevant expenses. Trail a productive path and make every action creative. Step out of that comfort zone to create a life of satisfaction that you have truly worked for and deserve. Turn your past bad mistakes into a desirable and an adorable door of opportunity. Embrace the new you without looking back. Use your divine intelligence and make the right decisions without falling back on emotions. Be closer to positive people and create more opportunities with them and not with those who are getting you down or those that cost your previous derailment if you have ever experienced one. Go to new networking groups and be self-disciplined. Create a life of abundance for yourself and your family. Step out of your own world, which is neither yielding success nor leading you forward. Turn your back on the miserable, gloomy environs. Once you identify the fear that has crippled or paralyzed you, it's a must to overcome it. Overcome it by all means. Who wants to continue in that fear that has kept one from recognizing and stepping into an opportunity? It is high time you stepped out to make different lively choices. Follow your passion and aim for success. Brilliant success for that matter. If you're in an environment where you are being held back, pulled back because they're afraid of your success, put yourself in an environment of greatest potential. Learn from experts in your field and make the most of your training. Get ahead of things. Do not be at the tail end. Another thing is be grateful for your intuition. Be grateful for your decision, your achievement, every step of the way. Open your eyes, ears, and brain. Do the right thing and what makes life better and worth living. Sometimes you have to relax and rethink. Approach your new passion with renewed positive energy and vigor and enthusiasm. Experience that peace of mind, the beauty and radiance that have eluded you in times past. Leave behind that harshness of life which negativity has enforced on you. It is now time to innovate, cherish, grow your business, deliver, and be fulfilled. See things from a new angle and embrace positive changes in the next level. 
what defines your strength is how well we rise when we are falling. Feel inspired and surround yourself with those who lift people up. When you have your products and services or develop a program, market to clients, not just fans. Be committed to doing the highest producing income activities. You can repackage uh, what you already do. If you're not very good at social media, have somebody manage the social media for you in sourcing. You may create a webinar, get people to experience you, engage them. The money is in the follow-up. You will then be a game changer. Keep the webinar short and sweet, meaningful, beneficial, and interesting. Teach the people what works for them. Be excited to learn new strategies and to rise. There are many more efficient ways to grow into profitable business. People say, when you try things which you have never done, you will be achieving those things that you are yearning for. However, when we turn a new leaf, we can stop looking back and stop blaming people who have initially caused us setbacks. Develop a profitable business using a profitable model. Have a plan of action to implement your dreams. Challenge yourself with a goal and achieve a result. If you choose to become a public speaker, work towards giving a signature talk and unforgettable presentations, telling great stories. Tell what amazes and amuses people. Make it a duty to collect stories. Tell touching stories that arouse emotion. Original stories are weightier. Become world class in your own right and your journey. If you give excellent presentations, you will impact more lives and can help more people. Making money on the internet can be successful once you get organized. Have your goals and budget. Traffic plus conversion is equal to making money. You can connect and collaborate with industry leaders to grow your business. If you would like them to promote you, you can feature in their podcast, speak at events, participate in gift giveaways, um, develop your confidence and presentation skills. Successful people take action, no matter who could be holding you back. Let another motto be, no stopping, high stepping. And I let me be. Overcome the fear that has stagnated you. Along the way, do practice giving and not expecting in return. The more you give, the more you get. Moreover, you gain more happiness when you give. Invest in yourself, educate yourself, and better yourself. On top of it all, make sure you support yourself with positive people. They always encourage you to do good things without being jealous. More closer to people that have got what you want and have less to do with people that are envious. They may not cherish the passion that you're embracing and still try and prevent you from having it or enjoying it. Be resilient. Keep focused. Have absolute determination and do not allow a toxic environment to stop you from reaching your heights. Remember, if you have a passion about something, use it to make a positive impact around people, 
and in the world. Create the vision and execute that vision. How earnest you want it will determine your success. Work hard and build your platform. There is no harm in working while you are following a new career. It will help to get some extra funds until you start getting an income from your new career. Until your new career starts to fund itself. It's valuable to have and build different skill sets as hidden assets. It's also nice to have a spiritual focus. It encourages and strengthens you towards your goal. Do not underestimate what you know. If you have had bad experiences and outcomes previously, turn your adversity into opportunities and use them to your advantage. Use the skills that you have already learned to show others how to overcome bad or challenging situations. Explore. One of your greatest assets is your ability to learn new skills and create your ideas. For example, you can learn to use TikTok and, ad and advertise on it um, and get to know the latest resources that you can use. Furnish yourself with more skills, but you don't have to know everything. You may collaborate with someone that provides services that move quickly. Another thing is build your platform. You can create nice, attractive, appealing videos that will sell on media. Using modern technology will be paramount in building the platform. It could include raising awareness of some issues in society through writing and helping people. You may look for a good mentor who understands your problems and setbacks. Look for a mentor who is genuinely interested in assisting you, lifting you up from your present status and helping you move your business forward. Get a mentor who can point you in the right direction, help you with successful networking, promote you and help encourage you to overcome any fear of discouragement. Do not allow yourself to be discouraged in times of distress so as not to diminish your strength. Have a clear purpose. Connect with it. Create a vision and make it bigger and bigger. Continue building around that channel. You want to be known in your field of expertise. Prepare your business and scale it up. Be consistent and make it visible. You have the precious opportunity to create something new. It's precious. Use some quality time as your valuable resource. Your immediate future will be measured by what you decide for yourself. Make a commitment to build what you need for yourself. You can turn your idea into a profitable course. Your business is a ladder which can lead you to the realization of your true potential and a platform of abundance. Purpose, proposition, and principle. It's important to have a purpose. Smart goals, be specific and measure your progress. You must define that purpose, your vision. Create goals and have your objectives. Let people know what makes your business unique, your value proposition. Let the customers know why they must buy from you rather than your competitors. Your conversion rate will go higher than your competitors. If you elucidate a cogent reason why your offer or material or your products or services are preferable, or more unique. You must know the problems your prospects want to solve and your solution to their problems. Your innovation must have an element of value. 
better than your competitors. You need to excel in at least one element of value. This makes you the best choice for the customers. See who you help and what you help them to do and why. It's necessary for prospective customers to understand the features of your unique products or services. When you know your audience, you need to know what they want. Find the resources, create a solution and sell it as a course or at a webinar or public speaking event to them. A good advice, stop working like a slave for your business. Make your business work for you. Get your business to work more efficiently and effectively. Let your team become more productive. Spend wisely. When you are in partnership, you can look at elements such as database exchange, complementary products, co-branding, white labeling. Have a blueprint. Have a story to tell. Explain your mission. Make it a success. Raise awareness. Create a platform and aim at selling it. It's a business from your own experience, including those things that have been inattentive to. Including things that you have been inattentive to. Um, bring all these thoughts together and find a market for your business. Promote it, monetize it. A business plan must be executed. When you create a course, you publish market and get sales. You teach people, build and develop a brand. Creating your own course is paramount once you have the mindset and motivation. I'm still speaking about discipline. And here's my perception. Some would agree with me that every human being living on this earth needs discipline. It's a fact that human imperfection has brought untold misery, most especially upon the recent generation of mankind. It's probably a grave excuse to continuously blame the earliest humans for the errors which are constantly committed by the latest generation of living beings. In various quarters, some may assume that this imperfection, though inherited, is purely inherent in man and can be attributed to the ignorance of our forefathers or the mystics which are deeply ingrained in human genes. Inasmuch as the inherited features may constitute logical explanation, the genetic factors in effect cannot permanently dictate or justify the more or less intentional behaviors of generations of mankind for thousands of years. The paradigm of choice is a generous term which is freely enjoyed by every human being from the earliest stage as a newborn right up to adulthood and well into its weakling or decrepit old age, so to say. Although the old age perception may be linked to weakness in its worn out stage, it's widely acknowledged that as from 70 years of age, human life or health is wrought with many pains in the biblical sense. History has proved that the much older generation of about 6,000 years was a bit closer to perfection when indeed many lived for decades. The weakness of brain cells, the old age sickness, with all the ailments attached 
could contribute to the reason why at old age a man's choice is limited in scope. Man, being in his right frame of mind, could still be able to decide and distinguish between what is right and what is wrong. Evidently, if man wants to conform to a standard of right or correct behaviors, as it were, he is inclined to do the opposite due to the nature of his innate imperfection. The good point is that the moral inclination of knowing the good from bad allows humans to adhere to a disciplined mind and to act in accordance with what he chooses to be the right behavior. Thank you. I'm still speaking about discipline, and here is my perception. Some would agree with me that every human being living on this earth needs discipline. It's a fact that human imperfection has brought untold misery, most especially upon the recent generation of mankind. It's probably a grave excuse to continuously blame the earliest humans for the errors which are constantly committed by the latest generation of living beings. In various quarters, some may assume that this imperfection, though inherited, is purely inherent in man and can be attributed to the ignorance of our forefathers or the mystics which are deeply ingrained in human genes. Inasmuch as the inherited features may constitute logical explanation, the genetic factors, in effect, cannot permanently dictate or justify the more or less intentional behaviors of generations of mankind for thousands of years. The paradigm of choice is a generous term which is freely enjoyed by every human being from the earliest stage as a newborn right up to adulthood and well into its weakling or decrepit old age so to say although the old age perception may be linked to weakness in its worn out stage it's widely acknowledged that as from 70 years of age Human life or health is wrought with many pains in the biblical sense. History has proved that the much older generation of about 6,000 years was a bit closer to perfection when indeed many lived for decades. The weakness of brain cells, the old age sickness, with all the ailments attached could contribute to the reason why at old age a man's choice is limited in scope. Man, being in his right frame of mind, could still be able to decide and distinguish between what is right and what is wrong. Evidently, if man wants to conform to a standard of right or correct behaviors, as it were, he is inclined to do the opposite due to the nature of his innate imperfection. The good point is that the moral inclination of knowing the good from bad allows humans to adhere to a disciplined mind and to act in accordance with what he chooses to be the right behavior. Thank you. Today, I want to share with you how to discipline yourselves in society. In my overview, I would like to draw the attention of teachers and pupils, students of social policy and social care, um, social workers, parents, foster carers, healthcare workers, care providers, service users, and policy makers. 
I'll cover several aspects of abuse, neglect, and lack of discipline in various quarters. I will touch on lack of compassion for the elderly, the physically challenged, and the infirm, as well as insufficient care and attention for the carers themselves in social care institutions. Um, I will address ill discipline in schools and why strict discipline must be enforced in the educational sector. Um, other important areas which must not be overlooked are those of parenting and foster care. Um, specific examples will be given. Um, the consequences of over pampering will be touched, as well as the accountability of social workers and parents. While some recommendations will be outlined for curbing ill discipline in the sectors and in the society at large. Um, interviews will be conducted with people from various places and this will briefly examine different aspects of discipline in communities and countries, some countries. Thank you. I'm still speaking about discipline, and here is my perception. Some would agree with me that every human being living on this earth needs discipline. It's a fact that human imperfection has brought untold misery, most especially upon the recent generation of mankind. It's probably a grave excuse to continuously blame the earliest humans for the errors which are constantly committed by the latest generation of living beings. In various quarters, some may assume that this imperfection, though inherited, is purely inherent in man and can be attributed to the ignorance of our forefathers or the mystics which are deeply ingrained in human genes. Inasmuch as the inherited features may constitute logical explanation, the genetic factors in effect cannot permanently dictate or justify the more or less intentional behaviors of generations of mankind for thousands of years. The paradigm of choice is a generous term which is freely enjoyed by every human being from the earliest stage as a newborn right up to adulthood and well into its weakling or decrepit old age so to say although the old age perception may be linked to weakness in its worn out stage it's widely acknowledged that as from 70 years of age Human life or health is wrought with many pains in the biblical sense. History has proved that the much older generation of about 6,000 years was a bit closer to perfection when indeed many lived for decades. The weakness of brain cells, the old age sickness, with all the ailments attached could contribute to the reason why at old age a man's choice is limited in scope. Man being in his right frame of mind could still be able to decide and distinguish between what is right and what is wrong. Evidently, if man wants to conform to his standard of right or correct behaviors, as it were, he is inclined to do the opposite due to the nature of his innate imperfection. The good point is that the moral inclination of knowing the good from bad allows humans to adhere to a disciplined mind and to act in accordance with what he chooses to be the right behavior. Thank you.
Media exposure will showcase you to a wider audience and bring in new potential clients, thereby leading to increased profits. It will be a big help towards promoting yourself and your products. Media publicity can also be shared by others to their friends, acquaintances, and their networks, increasing your exposure even more. It grows your brand and creates more awareness and interest in your work. So even if some won't eventually become your customers, they may talk about you and discuss with others what they have seen and heard from you, which can make more people be interested in your business. It can also help you um, with new opportunities. It can help give you new opportunities with other businesses, affiliate partners, and joint ventures for collaboration. They could be encouraged by your media exposure and want to find you to work with you. It helps to establish you as an expert, making you more credible because media organizations are displaying you on their platform. In terms of my own media experience, I have been a presenter of the Light Entertainment Program, a record for you at Radio Lagos. I was a producer of television program, um, French for Beginners, at NCA, Nigerian Television Authority, Channel 10, Lagos. I have played a part in training a few of the so-called very difficult children in the community. In January 2011, I was featured as Mother of Mercy in a Wales on Sunday newspaper and Observer and a few others in an article and in an interview in appreciation of my humanitarian duties in the social care sector. It increased my credibility because it positioned me as an expert in that field with the training and experience I had in humanitarian efforts in social care. People can make money using affiliate marketing. This is where you promote and sell other person's business products and get a commission fee as part of the deal. It's an interesting way to make money because you don't need to create your own product, but instead have a platform where you can direct customers towards others' products. You can run a live webinar and make an offer at the end of the webinar for viewers to buy a product or a service and can especially make it an urgent offer um, that is only active for that webinar or for that day. You can create online courses and run live um, or recorded webinars for them. You can use sales funnels that take people to landing pages for the webinars, and this can become a revenue stream that makes passive income, making you money even when you are not running a live webinar. It might even be when you're sleeping. You can also use funnels to run email marketing, informing your email list of your new products and services, and give them updates as to what will be happening next with your business, and provide links which take them to sales offers. You can write a book and promote it, perhaps making special offers, pre-release, or you can have a launch promotion on release. You can promote it on social media platforms, and also run paid adverts on platforms like Facebook, Google, or Amazon. I worked as a diplomat for 20 years in different departments and at different levels of the organizations. Most of the diplomatic duties, activities, travels, and state visits demanded that one would be very well sound in exhibiting superb communication skills in dealing with officials and dignitaries um, inside and outside the organization, as well as various levels of staff within the organizations. The expert knowledge of protocol and of interaction will be at play and showcased in a professional manner.
Nevertheless, it was a great and daunting task, which was very well fulfilled. I gained an MA in Language Arts Communication degree, and this gave me an excellent basis for the detailed and specific ways in which communication skills can be analyzed, developed, and manifested on an individual, uh, a group, organizational, and mass media levels. My earlier job as a producer at a television station gave me the opportunity to observe keenly the communication strategies at NTA and analyze the effectiveness of those strategies. It also gave me an insight into how communication can be improved within an organization. I saw a need for enhancing organizational communication in ways that benefited all the organization, improved relations between the different levels and increased commitment towards the organization's goals, enabling all to pull in the same direction. Visibility enables you to stay in the minds of your audience by being a constant presence. Social media um, is used as a huge tool for visibility. It enables you to market yourself to huge audiences and more visibility, uh, results in more sales for your products and for your services. You have to be constantly visible. You have to be consistent in order to maintain your presence and keep your audience informed about you. This will take some effort as it's not an easy task and there are many ways to do it. Having a schedule, um, staying focused and being determined will help uh, with consistency and the rewards will eventually show uh, for the hard work that's put into it. You can use different ways to stay visible such as the, the ones I've mentioned earlier, um, social media platforms in many different forms. Public speaking, podcasts, webinars, advertising on platforms like Facebook and Google, writing a book and promoting it, um, blogging, video blogging, writing them and using webinars and social media or even platforms like LinkedIn and um, Clubhouse for networking and growing your contacts, connecting to fellow like-minded professionals and people with similar interests and businesses for you to collaborate and share content with. Hello there. It's important to write a book. You will agree with me that writing a book gives you the credibility as an expert. People will be encouraged to listen to you because if you have a book, there will be a reassurance that you are knowledgeable in your field. It will enhance your profile and put you in a better position to promote yourself, your products, and your services. The title of my book will be Communication Strategies to Improve Your Business and Organization. This book is about communication in the workplace between those in positions of authority and other members of staff, employees, and colleagues. The book covers, in detail, ways in which communication can be disseminated and how ideas and attitudes within an organizational structure and between managers and employees can be enhanced. Staff members will feel better if they, if they can interact within an atmosphere of confidence and trust, which the managers need to take the lead in displaying. It's recommended that management provide opportunities for the expression of opinions and feedback that could be useful for the benefit of the organization. People should read this book because it helps improve communication effectively in an organization. And this will lead to greater commitment to the organization's goals from all parties. It also hints about how we can improve our business communication in this digital world and social media era to take our business global.
My name is Vienka, Princess Vienka. I'm a writer. I write educational books and true life stories. I have in the past fostered very difficult children from different backgrounds. Because of this achievement and compassionate act, I was named Mother of Mercy in Wales on Sunday newspaper. Of recent, in my latest satirical novel, I'm out to defend the cause of women and to alleviate the plight of hundreds of thousands of girls, ladies, women out there, to give a voice to female workers, particularly the carers who are making sacrifices day in, day out, but not well rewarded and who are in fact taken advantage of. I intend to dramatize the script in order to make it reach a global audience. I need your backing and I solicit your support to make the female voices shout out much, much louder. Thank you. Hello, I'm Yinka. I'm introducing my products. In my company, we write, edit, and publish educational books, stories, scripts, and screenplays for schools, colleges, for individuals to learn from, benefit, and enjoy. My first product, Correct English in 24 Hours, was launched in 2011. I want to develop and produce the intriguing and compelling stories within the scripts and screenplays into films, television, theater, adaptations, and production. I want to effectively market and sell these products. I help my audience to improve their English language skills so they can increase the understanding of the language. Also, they can enhance the quality of expression without making common errors. I also help to improve discipline in various sectors like schools, parenting, social care, and more. I try to push, to inform, inspire, and entertain my audience with stories that deal with overcoming harassment, bullying, and various obstacles in life by having a spiritual focus. I have played a part in training a few of the so-called very difficult children in the community by way of fostering. In January 2011, I was featured as Mother of Mercy in Wales on Sunday newspaper and also in Observer newspapers and a few in an interview and an article. And that was an appreciation of my humanitarian duties in social care sector. Back to the books, Correct English in 24 Hours has been a key tool in helping international ESOL students in um, I am Bedford and some other educational institutions um, to improve their understanding of the English language, enhance the quality of the expression uh, without making common errors, and also pass the exams. Um, unique Primary English has been assessed and certified by NEDIC, N E R D C. Um, it's specifically designed to meet international standards. A beam from the dark was selected onto a short list of scripts to be developed by industry figures at a BFI event. Um, Secure Heights is an Amazon bestseller in the category of metaphysical fiction. Um, my living carer, the inner eye, is the trait is the trending, um, funny, dramatic, intriguing, five-star reviewed Amazon bestseller in the categories of um, theater, satire, drama, and plays. My audience needs to improve their English language skills, enhance their discipline in various sectors, and be informed, educated, inspired by my stories. Thank you. See you soon.